This is a TrapCon free beat, and the link is down below in the description. Welcome back, bros, to another video review. And today, this is a figure review that you voted upon in my community poll on my YouTube page. So, yes, this is for you guys, my viewers, the Transformers Legacy United Generation Selects 5-Pack. As for the contents inside of this five pack, we're going to start from left to right. So right off the bat, we get Autobot Jazz, who comes with one accessory, his blaster. Then we get next Sunstreaker, who was followed with two accessories, his blaster and also his uh, exhaust pipes or whatever you want to call them that he comes with. And then for Trailbreaker, who is the third figure, he comes with two accessories, his arm cannon or hand cannon attachment, and also the roof of his vehicle mode. And then for the fourth figure, we have Wheeljack, who comes with two accessories, his gun and also his shoulder cannon. And finally, the reason why we all technically bought this five pack is to get our hands on the repaint, who was originally for this mode, Autobot Hound, who comes with three accessories. Now, I will give you guys a heads up. This is going to be more of a comparison review rather than a review, and you will not see transformations because we all have had these figures, uh, and I reviewed them in the past, so I will post all the ones that I've already reviewed so you could check them out if you need to know how to transform them. But just looking at these guys, these things look great, guys, and I'm definitely excited to bring this review to you to show you why you should pick up this Autobot 5-pack. So here we are, briefly taking a closer look at the details on this figure. I'm just going to go ahead and announce it up front that all five of these characters have different details than the ones that we previously received, whether it was Transformers Kingdom, Earthrise, or Studio Series. The five that you see before you right now are the most accurate to what we saw on the cartoon show, which were on screen and now in toy form. So I'm very happy for what Hasbro has done because these are the most accurate Autobots that we have updates on. I'm looking forward to them getting the rest of the Autobots updated to this more cartoon accurate paint scheme. When it comes to the articulation for all five of these figures, they are pretty much the same. You get all of the traditional deluxe articulation that you would normally get, but I'll just show it off with Trailbreaker. Uh, because he's the biggest, the head can tilt left and right, up, down, if you like. The arms rotate all the way around, and they're not hindered. So uh, this one right here is a little bit different because he has these panels for the vehicle right there. As you all are aware, it does rotate at the upper bicep. bicep. It has a more than 90-degree bend right here, and that's due to transformation. It also has a wrist swivel, as you can see, a waist swivel. The leg can kick up this high. It bends not more than 90, and that's due to transformation. It has a foot rocker right here where you can get some more dynamic poses. And it can kick back uh, this far because it's being hindered by the part on the waistline. So basically right here, this is what you get for all standardized deluxe figures. And this is a more large deluxe versus Jazz and all the other ones in this set. So I just wanted to show that off briefly so that we can continue because this review may get a little longer than I usually do for these reviews. So let's go ahead and take a brief look at the accessories that came with these figures. So the first accessory right off the bat is gonna be left to right, that's gonna be Jazz. So Jazz comes with the same accessory uh, that he got with the Studio Series release, which was his original release. So basically, it just pegs in his hand. There's no issue with that. And we all know what that looks like when you put it in. So now Jazz has his weapon. And I still think it's good. So that's not really bad. So let's continue and take a look with the next guy's accessory. So right off the bat here, we have Sun Streakers. Uh, I don't know if you call it exhaust pipes, intakes, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that is pretty much the same accessory that we've gotten with the Earthrise version of that. 
So for me, I like storing it on his back as part of his backpack because right here, this is how he looked when he was with the cartoon with those exhaust panels right there. So this is not the only accessory, which makes this a bonus for this pack. Here we have Sunstreaker's weapon. Now, we didn't get this when it came to the Earthrise original release, but now with this uh, Generation Selects 5 pack, we get Sunstreaker's actual rifle. So I think that is great. And as you know, that is a reason why to pick up this set. And I'm kind of glad they included it because I thought it was going to do like another Centurion drone uh, weapons accessory pack again, but actually they did not. So let's skip Hound and move on to the next person. So let's go ahead and bring out Wheeljack. As you can see, here he is brought forward. And the first accessory that came with Wheeljack, which also came with the Earthrise version, is going to be this... Uh, they had it in his hand like it's a gun, but to me, it looks more like his missile launcher. So uh, there's nothing really different about that. It's molded in the white. You just plug it on his shoulder like he was able to do with the Earthrise version. Now, he came with a bonus second accessory, and that is Wheeljack's gun. So just checking this out right here, we didn't get this on the Earthrise release. So this is another reason to pick up this pack because it comes with Wheeljack's weapon. And Wheeljack's weapon plugs in very easy. And I mean, you can't ask for more. Wheeljack now has a shoulder cannon and also his gun. So that's pretty darn good. Now, here we are taking a look at Trailbreaker before we go ahead and look at the last one, which was Hound. So Trailblecker comes with his first accessory. Here we have the piece that plugs in his hand to give him more of that more cartoon realistic look where he had this uh, blaster or whatever you want to call it as a hand versus having a fist. So I'm just putting in this one right now. If it's not accurate, guys, this is just for review purposes to show off the accessory uh, that the figure can interact with. So yes, that's what we got with the Earthrise release. And then his last accessory, but really it's not a accessory because it, it attaches to uh, the vehicle. As you can see right here, this is the hood of the, uh, or the hatchback of um, Trailbreaker's uh, vehicle mode. And that also came with the Earthrise uh, figure so there's not really much of a difference from that so it basically just plugs in on the back you just plug it right here in this piece and then it just comes up there and it hides the accessories that which are the same for what you've gotten with the earthrise version so yes that's what we get for trail breaker and here we are who me many people are going to say is the star of the show here we have hound he comes with three accessories. So the first accessory we're going to review is his cannon. The cannon is the same as what we got with the Tritus. So I think it's good that we got this. And I'm definitely liking it. Um, it fits well. No issues. Uh, I kind of would have liked it gray versus that uh, beige or whatever. But here we are with the second accessory. And this is his shoulder cannon. Um, if you want, you could make like some super blaster. If you plug that in um, or plug it in this way, you'll make like a super blaster, which is pretty cool. Totally up to you. But for me, it's just a shoulder cannon. And then a the third accessory right here is the missile cap right here. It just caps on like this. Uh, the reason why I already had it separated, because once you get it on, it's a very, very snug fit. So it'll take some force to be pulled apart. And it stores right here in Hound's shoulder to give him more of that G1 appearance. So yes, these are all the accessories that came in this five figure Generation Selects pack. So now it's time for comparisons, guys. And right off the bat, this is the first comparison I wanna start with. I've gotten as many figures as I could out of stores that I could find so that I can give you the most accurate comparison as you can see with these figures before you. So here we have the uh, Commander Class uh, Siege Jetfire. It was basically the same pretty much as the Earthrise version uh, because there was no Earthrise version. Then you have the Studio Series Commander Class 
Ultra Magnus, the Leader Class, Earthrise, Optimus Prime, and then some of the other figures I sprinkled in with the Earthrise Mirage figure, the Earthrise Sideswipe, the Netflix Bumblebee, and then also the Buzzworthy Bumblebee Cliff Jumper figure, just so you can see how well these scale with the figures included in the five pack. So now that we have the big comparison out the way, here we are going to break down each figure a part of this five pack. So first, let's start off with Autobot Jazz. Now, if you weren't paying attention to this review and you skipped ahead, you tell me which one is the new Autobot Jazz five pack. So I'm going to give you three seconds to tell me which one it is. So if you said it was this one, you are correct. So this one right here on the left is the Studio Series. Now right off the bat, guys, looking at this figure, I bought the light in closer so you could see the differences in the paint and molded plastic on each figure. So right off the bat on this figure, you see that the visor is a lighter color blue on this Jazz. Not only that, the headlight is blue light blue lighter than the blue on this one you got silver for a license plate the autobot symbol is picked out with the white lining as you can see right here uh, there is no blue like on this one for the new updated version then going down the hands and the arms are pretty much the same there's nothing different with neither one of those then you come down to the hips right here where the crotch area is you have the two different blues right here this one being a lighter blue and this one being a darker blue I feel like they kind of like uh, switch or flip-flop these with this and that as you can see right there and then bring your eye attention to the legs now here we go the legs is where you get a little bit of difference uh, the legs this is painted like in like a matte gray or whatever while this is painted in like a metallic more like his gun and then looking at the fenders on the back wheels of the vehicle, you have painted details, the striping on Jazz. Unlike this copy, you don't necessarily have. And then the feet are the same feet, but molded uh, in this matte gray plastic. And it's not molded like in white like this one. So these are your biggest differences with the Autobot Jazz in this Generation Selects 5-pack. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Sunstreaker next. Secondly, here we are taking a look at the two Sunstreakers so that you can see the differences. So just comparing the two right off the bat. Um, the one on the left is going to be the Earthrise and the one on the right is now the Legacy United 5-pack. As you can see the differences even though you can clearly see them, I'm going to point them out. This one right here is definitely a more yellow, while this one is more like a canary yellow. Now, just looking at the head sculpts right off the bat, guys, this one is painted in the all black with the yellow, and it also has the painted black on the goatee right there, as you can see. While this one right here is in this matted, uh black charcoal gray right here and it doesn't have the goatee painted but it does have the inside of the ears painted which is pretty cool just looking at the two uh right here they're pretty much the same there's nothing different in the molding of course the paint deco is what is the difference so checking out the paint deco here to the side just look at the arms the arms itself right there is an upgrade in my opinion that yellow right there was basically painted over black plastic, but this is a more painted premium job of silver on this black or matted charcoal plastic. So when turning your attention to the chest, as you can see right there, the Earthrise is the translucent one, which painted doesn't seem like it's painted very well, uh, and it's very dark, so it doesn't quite match this uh, side uh, Sunstreaker figure. So if I said side swipe, guys, forgive me because I have side swipe. I'm going to be adding into this picture just to show you guys in a few minutes. But looking at the comparisons for these, look at the shins right here. This one is painted in two colors while this one is just molding all black. And then looking at the grill, which is the feet for the Lambo mode. I mean, 
what more can I tell you? You know, it also comes with his gun, but this one didn't. So that's why I said, guys, they came with the exact uh, accessory. And just looking at the back, now you guys can start to see the differences on why you want this legacy uh, Generation Selects 5-pack with these updates. It's just a lot better than what we got with the Earthrise. If we would have got this from the beginning, there would have been no need for them to even make this. But you know, Hasbro is all about the money. So just looking at these two guys, they are night and day. And I'm and these are just reasons why to pick up this five pack. So let's go ahead and check out the next figure, which we're going to skip Hound for last. But before I do that, guys, I did promise you Sideswipe was coming in this photo. So here we have side swipe compared with the Earthrise side swipe and then also with the uh, new Transformers United uh, side swipe. But just looking at them, man, these Lambo brothers look good and they definitely look like they stepped out the cart too. Now, I will say right off the bat, guys, with this right here, we're going to probably get a version just like this in another Autobot 5 pack. I wouldn't be surprised if we get like Mirage or we get Ironhide, Ratchet, Sideswipe, and some of the other characters that were made in Earthrise, now with that more uh, cartoon accurate deco with the windows being in that light blue tint. The third figure that I'm taking a closer look to compare for you guys, just to show off the subtle differences and details with the new version versus the previous version. Now, looking right off the bat, guys, as you can see right here, we have both right here. This is the new five pack. This is the Earthrise. There is no difference in the molding except that this version is just all solid plastic, while this one is consisted of translucent plastic. So as you can see right there with the wings on the back of wheel jack, they're see-through. You can see my finger through it. And then right here for the uh, hood or the windshield of the vehicle is also see-through. Now, looking at the two figures, now keep in mind, guys, I did go through a house fire. These are clean figures. I don't know if your copy looks a little dingy like mine, but that's just the way it is. Um, as you can see, this one is a more pure white color. It looks good with the light blue right here. There are subtle differences. Uh, when it comes to right here in the chest region of the Autobot symbol and the paint deco on the top of the hood of the vehicle. Other than that, you still got, you know, the traditional wheel jack pieces. And I am missing a shoulder cannon for this guy. It fell out somewhere in storage and I couldn't find my accessory set where I would have all my extra accessories. Because it actually had like a third party add-on kit, guys, on this guy I had. But I took it off for review purposes. But yes, just continuing looking at this, this guy also comes with a gun, while this guy only comes with that shoulder cannon. So looking at the deco right here on the legs, we still get that 638. This has more of like the actual race car appearance, while this is more of the cartoon. As you can see, the wheels on this one are painted orange versus this one painted silver. And then looking at the feet on down, you have more paint details on, excuse me, guys, I'm doing a lot of talking. It's past my nap time on this figure than you do on this one. So as you see, guys, this is the differences with, with Wheeljack figure. So let's go ahead and take a look at our fourth figure next. So as promised, here we are with the fourth set of figures from this pack. And basically, we're taking a look at the Earthrise version of Trailbreaker and also the now Legacy United version of Trailbreaker. So as you can see, guys, these figures are exactly the same. They came with the same accessories. But wait, guys, I'm just this is just a tease because this is from the Transformers Centurion Drone Weapons Upgrade Pack. So, yes, you're not getting that when you get this figure in the Legacy United. This is just an extra accessory. That was meant for Trailbreaker to have in that package if you have that Centurion Drone Hasbro exclusive weapons pack. So let's continue with the review. As you can see right here, this one is more in that black plastic. And it does have the translucent window right there. And pretty much 
it represents Trailbreaker from what we got from that Earthrise Transformer toy line. Now, when looking at this one from the Legacy United, as you can see, this is more a accurate, I guess you could say, Masterpiece Deco because this reminds me of the Masterpiece Trailbreaker figure that just came out. It's in this charcoal gray, like what side uh, Sunstreaker was in. So... Um, I do like this one. It's pretty good. It definitely looks cartoon accurate when it comes to the wind shield on uh, Trailbreaker being that light blue. I know the light is bright, but I had to do the light bright so you could see how these colors are looking compared to one another. Um, just looking at the paint job on, on this version right here, in my opinion, just looks great along with the other Autobots. But I do like how this Autobot logo is picked out with the white. And I do like the silver. So there are some things I like with both figures. But ultimately, these are pretty much the same as what we've gotten. Um, it's just molded in a lighter color uh, plastic. And uh, here, the windows aren't painted. But the windows are painted on this one. So these are just subtle touches um, on these figures just to show off. I mean, Trailbreaker is a great character to me. In robot mode, there's not that many uh, differences besides the choice in the molded plastic for this figure and some of the accessories being molded in this uh, same color as his arms versus um, the same color of this one and like his forearms and his body. So let's go ahead and bring out the fifth figure, the figure that everybody wanted to see being compared with previous versions of that character. So here we are taking a look at the fifth figure of this set and you guys are going to pretty much say this is the star of the show. Now you are right about that because we have not received a earth mode hound yet but here I got the only hound that I have access to which is going to be the siege version which is the war for Cybertron. I do not have access to my classic version because it is brand new sealed in packaging packed away in boxes that I were unable to locate at this time. So just looking at these two figures right here, they both represent how, and they both have a good amount of details in their own way. For me, the new five pack hound is the best hound on the table, it hands down. It looks good, it looks clean, it looks as if hound jumped straight out of the cartoon into toy form. Now I'm gonna add this figure in because he is a straight repaint of hound and this is the detritus. I wish we would have got Hound first because I feel like Hound would have sold more than Detritus. But you know what Hasbro is? They're looking at trying to make money off us collectors. So therefore, they gave us Detritus first, who's still hanging on pegs as we speak for Wave 3 at Walmarts. You can definitely find them there. But I really wish they would have gave us that Hound to give everybody a chance to get a well-known figure of massively produced. Now... I went ahead and bought in Cliff Jumper, who was a part of that buzzworthy Bumblebee line. So if you missed out on that, shame on you. Because now you're going to want that with this Legacy 5-Pack United. Because everyone has those light blue G1 cartoon accurate windows. And if you got it in Ross for a cheaper price, good job. Because you were paying attention and you knew Hasbro was going to do this mess coming up with new updates to these figures. So yes, just looking at them at the side view. Um, they're pretty much the same. I mean, I don't really have any noticeable differences besides just the, the wheels they use and the molded plastic. So with all that being said, how looks terrific, guys. And let's continue this review and check out the vehicle modes on this five pack. So now that I've transformed all five Autobots into their alt mode, this is what we get. And I'm definitely liking how uniform they look with these light blue windshields. So yes, looking at them as a group, I like what Hasbro has given us. And I'm definitely hoping that they may continue and give us another five pack with some more Autobots in this more cartoon realistic uh, paint deco. Now, real quickly, I went ahead and inserted that buzzworthy Bumblebee cliff jumper. And as you see right here, he fits right in what Hasbro is doing with this Transformers Legacy United 5-pack. 
And this is my last group shot comparison. And here we got the big guy himself, Optimus Prime, who is definitely not in the cartoon deco, guys. So I'm pretty sure, and I'm hoping that with the new studio series, uh, Commander Class, Optimus Prime, spoiler alert, who has not been revealed, will be in this new cartoon stylistic detail. If not, best believe Optimus Prime is going to get reissued in this color scheme to fit all of the Autobots that they've given us with these light blue windshields. Now, this is just going to be the side profile shot, guys, just so you can see how the Autobots line up with Optimus Prime and also Cliff Jumper. So here we are starting off the comparisons. Yes, I know this is a long review. Thank you for bearing with me, guys, and supporting my channel. I definitely got to give you the thanks and the kudos for sticking with me. So right off the bat, here we have the two Jazz figures. As you can see, one is going to be the Studio Series and the other is going to be the Legacy United 5-pack. So this is the 5-pack. This is the Studio Series. If you didn't understand, clear transparent plastic right here for the top of the windshield of Jazz. This is actually white molded plastic. So yes, they do have very subtle differences. And the only subtle differences that I can see right off the bat is going to be the paint right here on this uh the rear fit uh real fenders above the rear wheels that you don't have here you're gonna have a little black paint deco right here on the spoiler which you don't get with this then you're also gonna get the black right here painted on the inside of the uh rear fender where you don't get right here and then more importantly guys here we go uh the front windshield is definitely uh the huge significant difference then you look at right here with the stripage and the Autobot symbol. Yes, this Autobot symbol is very hard to see. I wish they would have added a white behind it to make it look more like this, but it is what it is. The red stripe is thicker here. It's thinner on this copy. Now, one big notice that you see right here, this copy comes with like gray, maybe a license plate maybe, but this one does not. So... That's pretty much all we get for the differences for that. And like I said, they're pretty much the same figure. Just one's molded. This one in my hand has a little bit more details than the one we got with the Studio Series. So yes, if they're going to continue to do that with all the figures, guys, we may be in and buying at least two copies of the same figure, especially if they're doing more of these uh, exclusive paint details with extra accessories for our figures. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next figure. So here we are, guys, taking a look at Sunstreaker. As you can see, there are significant differences with both molds of this figure. It's the same mold, but different paint decos. So just looking at the new one, which is right here, it is the Legacy. To me, it looks perfect. I have no complaints with that. But when looking at this one right here, this is what you already knew. This is a different type of yellow. This is the type of different yellow. And then that's a different type of yellow. So yes, that Sunstreak, Sunstreaker right there is not the favorite. And this is the Earthrise mode, while this is the new 5-pack. So just taking a look at these right here, you can see the differences uh, with the paint details and the windows. And then you have more details painted right here on the actual vehicle than you lack right here with the uh, Earthrise version. So just looking at it from a front view, uh, the only other difference of more detail that you get with the five pack is going to be an extra Autobot symbol right here and a little bit more of like a gray skirt for this Lambo. So, and all in all, yes, I think this new one is definitely an upgrade of what we got with the old one in addition to this new paint job and also that gun accessory. So let's go ahead and continue with the next figure. Here I have the two Wheeljack figures before you. You already know the difference between the two, so let's dive right into it. So right off the bat, this is the original from the Earthrise, and I did have the accessory, guys. It was on the back of Wheeljack. I noticed it when I transformed him, and I was like, wait. So a lot of the clear bits that you saw on this Wheeljack was from a, uh, I want to say a Nuff uh, upgrade kit where it gave me the clear wings the shoulder launcher, and another accessory for Wheeljack. I can't remember what it is, but anyway, that's that. When compared to this new clean, sleek-looking 
United um, five pack. I mean, this just looks cleaner to me than this version. Even though this one looks more toy accurate, this one just looks more it came out the cartoon because it didn't have all this in the cartoon, but it definitely looked like that in the animation. So I'm definitely liking the way this one's turned out. Uh, this one definitely has the more paint details, but yes, it's not white. It's more of that off uh, white cream color. Now, they're pretty much the same wheels, just painted differently. And then looking at the front view on uh, both of these vehicles, they're pretty much the same, except that this one comes with wheel jacks, gun, and shoulder cannon, while this one only comes with the shoulder cannon. The paint details on the hood of the vehicle, of course, is different. Uh, this one seems more minimal because it is more uh, cartoon accurate versus this one being more toy accurate. The chest is different right here. There's not any paint details going to the back of this vehicle towards the spoiler. And as you see, there is subtle paint differences on the back. This one's all white. This one's got a little black into it. But yes, this is all we get for what the figures look like in their alt mode. And I'm definitely liking what Hasbro has given us because these are different, slightly, but very good renditions of Wheeljack. So continuing, this is the fourth figure. And here we have two sets of Trailbreaker. As you already know, once again, five pack, Earthrise. Looking at these figures as both as a whole, they both represent Trailbreaker. This to me seems a more uh, cartoon accurate and this seems more toy accurate. So I don't know as Hasbro is, this is their plan to do more toy accurate decos first, then come back with the more animated. I'm not sure, but that's what it's starting to seem like it was because they did the cliff jumper like that. Now they're doing the five pack, so I would not be surprised if Optimus Prime gets that and, and other figures like Bumblebee and so on. But just looking at them, they do look good. There are uh, subtle differences, of course, with the Autobot symbols. Other than that, you still... Okay, well, here is a difference I really didn't notice until now. You have more paint details here, here, and here, and then also on the back of the cab. But this one, you only have it right there. Now, I'm not going to say it's better because, of course, this one looks more vehicleized, like an actual vehicle. It's got the Ford WD up there, while this one, you know, of course, is that cartoon accurate. Now, spinning them to the back, they're pretty much the same. There's nothing different besides the window right here being painted. This one just being solid black. Um, and then looking at this side, uh, it just continues with what we've seen with the previous and the front view. Okay, so here we have a little subtle differences with the front view. Um, let me move this in camera because I'm definitely off. Uh, interesting that the lights on this one is painted black or maybe they're black molded plastic, I believe. And this one right here is just painted gray. I, I feel like this should be swapped or something like the light should have been like a light blue or maybe like a little orange but all in all i think this is the only downfall that i see with trailbreaker is that the lights here are somewhat painted and while here they're not and lastly for comparisons here i have the figure that everybody wants this pack for is the earth rise autobot hound now, as you already know, it is the same thing as what we got in Legacy Wave 3 Detritus. So this deco, of course, is what everybody wanted. But this is what they gave us with Legacy and kept this away from us. So, yes, that's disappointing. The Hasbro made us buy this to get to this. But all in all, both figures are exactly the same. They look good. Hound has that more military green while this one has that desert color, um, they look good. Um, I don't really have any complaints because I'm happy. I finally have Hound in his Earthrise mode. Now, I would have been okay if this was clear like that. The light blue doesn't really, you know, make this figure necessarily better than this one. But I do like the figure uh, because it is how he is an Autobot. I'm more of an Autobot fan. But when it comes to the paint details, of course, I feel like they did a better job with Detritus versus uh, Hound. Now, 
Hound is a much needed figure, especially if you're like me and you want to complete all the Autobots and have everybody on your shelf. So yes, this is a definitely good, accurate version of Hound. And I like what Hasbro has given us with this figure a part of this five pack. So now it's time for the Yeah Bro figure pickup or pass grading system where I get to share my opinions and my thoughts on these recent figures that I picked up in this five pack and review before you. My goal is to share my thoughts and opinions, basically what I'm happy about and what I'm not happy about in efforts in case you need that advice or that extra motivation to pick up this set or ultimately deciding to pass, which is totally your decision. As for me, guys, this is a definite pickup in my book. I have given you this long video review explaining why it is. This five pack comes with extra accessories for characters we did not get in previous sublines where they were originally made for. Now with this five pack, we get bonus accessories. We get a better paint job on each figure, in my opinion. So this is a no brainer, guys. To be honest, the molding on these characters, even though they are straight uh, remolds of the same characters we already have and repaints, they are tight, they are not loose, they are definitely very well done and have good quality in my opinion. When it comes to the playability and execution, these figures that they have given us represent the character to the best of their ability and I'm liking what Hasbro has given us. As you see right here, there is tons of playability and the execution of the characters are well known and easy to see and identify, as you can see. So yes, guys, this is a pickup in my book. Do not hesitate if you see this Legacy United Transformers Generation Selects 5-pack. It's worth every penny, in my opinion. So guys, if you're interested in picking up a copy of this five pack, I got my copy from cmdstore.com where this five pack is already in stock and ready for you to purchase and they ship it out as soon as the money clears and your order is confirmed. With that being said, guys, I ultimately end up paying $125 for this five pack and that does include shipping. With this being a Canadian store, it does not charge me taxes. So it is a no brainer for me to pick up. And that's why I bought this review to you early as soon as I could in efforts that you would see how really terrific and awesome these figures are, which was brought to you by the uh, store that I purchased at, at cmdstore.com. As always, please like, comment, share and subscribe by doing these four actions it shows my channel a tremendous amount of support and not only that positive feedback as a youtube content creator thank you once again for spending your time watching my video until next time yeah bro i'll see you soon and wait guys don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you can be notified when i uploaded new content for you to check out at your earliest convenience thank you